Hey there all. Welcome to my YouTube premiere. Ah! Um, I'm Jenny uh, and this is Thrifty Fox and um, I'm going to be reviewing some Timu items for you guys primarily. Um, I've gotten a few things through AliExpress, um, some other places and I thought it'd just be fun to kind of give you all my um, my opinion. I was never a big wish shopper, more a big AliExpresser and found Timu this year and kind of kind of fell in love, I guess, if you will. I don't know. For me, it's one of those things, if I'm going to buy stuff from China, I'd much rather just buy it straight from China than from Walmart, I guess, if you will. Um, so uh, I would love to know how Timu works too, like as far as it seems like it's different than AliExpress. It doesn't seem like it's um, quite the same, but I'm not here to judge that. I'm not here to, disclaimer, premiere video, right? Okay, premiere video, that means, you know, I'm gonna be a little discombobulated. <clears throat> disclaimer, I am not here to sell you anything on Timu. I am not here to get you to buy anything from Timu. I am here to say, if you're gonna buy some of these things from Timu, these are the things that I've purchased that, um, that I've enjoyed and if I haven't enjoyed them how I dealt with it so because I feel like um, their customer service and their returns are pretty exceptional sometimes so anyways I have been waiting for a long time like two weeks to open oh yeah these are unboxing videos these aren't just like team review like like I have a closet full of boxes of, of, of these brilliant orange bags from Timu. And I've been waiting until I had all of this set up for you all <clears throat> to go ahead and review the items. Um, so yeah, so um, one more little, 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 little aside. Um, I ordered two pairs of a pair of shoes and one of them I've already pulled out and used. I know I said unboxing. Everything else is still sealed and in its beautiful taped up condition. Um, but I helped out um, a random stranger on the side of the road uh, who had run out of gas. And my previous pair of these shoes that I had bought got gas all over them. So I felt like I had the right to kind of dive into my Timu bag and get out one of the pairs because I still have a brand new pair right here to show you. Okay, so. And that's where we're gonna start. Seems like a nice little, nice little way to, to kind of blend into that. Okay. Um, when I lived in Germany uh, a long, long time ago in the 90s, um, I found some great little Chinese slippers. They weren't velvet like these, they were cloth, but they had the exact same little like switch, like the little, like the little, the little connection, the way that they attach. Um, so, um, when I found these on Timu and I saw that the price was like exceptional, if you want price, oh, I'll throw that out there. I have never spent more than $20 on any individual item. If you want to know the prices that I spent on these things, please feel free to comment below. Um, I will get better about making sure that I have that stuff available, um, for you when I start the video from here on out, but live and learn, right? I'm learning as I go. Okay. So. These little slippers don't smell great when they first come, but they're going on your feet anyways, right? I mean, like, seriously. Seriously, like. But they're the greatest little slippers. Um, two little things. One, um, the sizing on the slippers is um, European sizing. So this is a 39, which is about equivalent to, like, a 7 and a half. Um, so 7 and a half about and um but it says 39 at the bottom and um things are backwards and i'll have to figure out how to switch that up and you know make sure that you can see the numbers the right way okay <clears throat> okay so these shoes are brilliant i love them um they were less than 10 bucks because i've been looking for them for 30 years i went ahead and bought i bought the one pair and when they were amazing and brilliant i ordered two more pairs and those two pairs arrived in the first bag that I decided I would share with you all 
Um, it was the Timu bag that arrived right before my birthday. Um, but as I said, I had to dive into it and get out one of the pairs of slippers, shoes. They're hard. Like, you can totally wear these outside of the house. Like, I totally do. I wear them everywhere. Um, so, yeah, one, sizing, right? They're sizing. Look at European sizing. Seven and a half is about a 39, but look online. The second thing is, is I noticed somebody commented on, it took them a second to figure out how the slipper worked, how the, 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 the connection on the little thing works. Because you have this. And then this is your strap and it goes like this and you got to figure out, okay, how do I attach it? And also how do I tighten it? So quick, 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 quick little thing. You just push that in and tighten it down like you would like, like a strap on some coveralls, right? And it just goes in there and you pull it and then the two slide together and it pulls tight. See like that? And it doesn't come undone. It doesn't come loose. Doesn't any of that. So brilliant, 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 brilliant. I was so happy to find these after 30 years. Okay. So, and I can't spend too much time on those because I've been waiting on all of this other stuff to share with you too. I have discovered, um, clothes. I don't like going clothes shopping, um, in part because I'm short and in part because, um, I'm very picky about how things feel like the texture. And that's been one of the godsons about Timu is that everything, almost everything feels so soft. So, and you'll be amazed when you see like just some of those, the, how much stuff they'll fit into a bag. So this is a really cute little shirt. And again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on clothes. If you want a Timu clothes shirt or clothes video, we'll do that. But it's kind of got this little cute little like ruffle at the bottom. It'll be amazing to wear. So it will fit me perfectly. And I didn't have to go shopping for it. And I knew it would fit because all their medium large stuff fits great. So. I found Timu originally because I was looking for miniatures. Um, I recently quit smoking and um, decided that the way to um, that the way to use my time when I wasn't smoking was going to be building miniatures and um, maybe recreating some homes that I've lived in in the past. Um, so to that venture. Um, I got a couple of different things and some of the stuff, some of the stuff I have not, I, I, I don't recall exactly what all is in here. So I do know this is a miniature thing though, just cause it feels small. So, um, nicely wrapped in a little thing. Ooh, it's my piano. It's my piano. Okay, cool. So, piano. Um, finding a piano, a miniature piano. That's cool, like this one, where um, it's supposed to do some really cool stuff. Oh, there's the music. Got tiny. Oh, you see, and there was one thing I got that was miniature one time. It actually has notes on it. I don't know how. Focus on the music, not me. Focus on the music, not me. We'll worry about that later. That's not the important part, right? No. We're not here for the music, ladies and gentlemen. No, not at all. All right, so. Anyways, finding um, a miniature piano that was spiffy, spiffy, um, was difficult. And I think I found one. So I should mention, I found this one on AliExpress for a lot more money. Because mm -hmm. they had them for their shipping. So you have this nice little bench. Does not open anything spiffy like that. That's okay though. That's 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 cool. I didn't get it for that. I got it for. <gasps> yes, you should. <gasps> look. And then look at this too. Ready? You ready? 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 Look. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. The paddles go up and down. Okay. And then, and then. Oh, does that do anything? Oh, it feels like it might. I don't know. I'm nervous to pull. Oh, oh, that comes off. Did that come off or did I just break it? Please just go right back on. Ta-da! Okay, cool. So, and then the music goes in there. Like so. Oh, he 
You need that open. There you go. Ta-da! So spiffy. <clears throat> when it comes to more miniature stuff, I have some rulers and stuff set up so that miniatures can be measured. Um, I don't know that I'll be doing that much with this bag, but always be prepared, right? Always be prepared. Always such a nice little mystery bag. Ah, yes, we'll do this one. Okay, so Thrifty Fox. I've decided to call my channel where I'm going to do Timu reviews Thrifty Fox. So I um, should probably maybe explain where that comes from. Um, way back when, years and 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 years ago when I was a child, my dad got me a fox that was very much like this little one right here. Um, this one is a small version of my big one. Um, my big one is in the uh, loving possession of my my younger son. Um, and uh, I've got this little dude here and he's gonna help me out on my channels. So uh, thrifty fox. And so one of the things though, um, as I said, I wanted to kind of I was thinking about recreating my household homes growing up. And in doing so, I would need a miniature fox. So, and this one's made out of basswood. It's hand carved. Timu again. No markings or anything. Not expensive, but adorable. So cute. You're gonna sit right up there, bud, sweetie. What else do you have in here? Oh, haha. -ha. Okay. So, for those of you crafting out there and who are doing dioramas and miniatures and uh, miniature railways and railroads and um, all those fun things, you sometimes will need things called static grass. And we've tried looking at our crafting stores in town and haven't had a whole lot of luck finding anything. So, um, note to self, make sure I have water available next time. Because I forgot that this time. So, okay. Um, so we got static grass and um, it's a nice little sample pack, and when you're doing miniature stuff, a little goes a long way. Um, but I was really, really pleased with um, with the amount that you get. And I know one person had commented on the Timu site that they wish that they had gotten more. But I feel like, if I remember, if I remember correctly, this was like two and a half dollars for all six of these, which isn't bad. So. But when you need static grass for your miniature building, your railroads and your uh, dioramas and your D&D &D houses, and you need some static grass to do the landscaping, maybe consider Timu if it's, uh, if it's cheaper, faster, and easier to find than, oh, that one's empty. Okay, cool. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, this is a cool one. Um, one of the things that I found that I really enjoyed with miniature stuff is, is that it's come a long way since when I was a kid. I can actually buy lights that actually light up because of LEDs and the, and the evolution of LEDs. And so, um, and there's two of these. I will only pull one out. Again, if we need to do a, like an entire episode on miniatures, huh? miniature review from Timu, who babies, we can totally do that. I am down. So this one right here is just a lovely little light you can put on either side of your door. But they're LEDs, so then you can hook them up and they will actually light up. Not trying them yet, but the reviews were good. Um, and once I get to that stage in my dollhouse, then I will be able to attach these. And maybe that will be its very own YouTube channel. A friend of mine told me I should do my YouTube crafting channels that I should do a YouTube crafting channel. Again, comment below if you think that that's a great idea. All right, let's see here. Um, trying to save those two for last. I think we have the last two things. Okay, so along with quitting smoking and starting to do miniatures, I'm also a very prolific writer. Um, and to that end, I have discovered that I write a lot more when it's a fountain pen, and fountain pens are hard to, to 
fountain pens that I like that are similar to the Lamy, the L-A-M-Y fountain pens. They're hard to find. So I went out and um, tried one, one from Timu. And it's just been amazing. It's been just a brilliant, just wonderful writing experience. It was identical to this one, this green one. Green. It's what it advertised was, was green. So we just call it green then. Um, but I thought, too, um, I would take the opportunity to show you guys, because not everybody knows how to do the, um, the cartridges in there. Um, a lot of times, fountain pens, for us, we purchase them. Oh, my goodness, look how beautiful this is. I just really, really love a beautiful writing instrument. Okay, so... A lot of times for fountain pens, you buy the little cartridges separate and then you end up throwing those away. And it was just recently that I was taught how to fill the fountain pen with an ink bottle. And again, that is something you can also buy on Timu, is the ink. But I just thought I would do a quick example for you all just to show you. So you know how easy it is because I have this nice bottle of ink black ink and I have so you pull and it and it doesn't I mean it's, it's don't worry about being gentle with it you pull it and, so, and it's hard right and you twist until it basically opens all the way up is this correct yep um I've debated doing a YouTube how to no a team how to so to kind of give people an idea as to how to do different things on Timu, like how to get refunds or those types of things. So um, similar to when you're using a syringe and pulling up medicine or whatever, you just basically hold it under the surface of the, of the, the bottle and then you rotate it until it fills up, until it can't rotate anymore. And it, it is actually the opposite of lefty loosey righty tighty. It's kind of weird but you'll get used to it. Oh, that one didn't fill very well. So if it doesn't fill very well, you see, perfect example, right? Didn't fill well. And I've got ink on my fingers, so you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful than I'm being. I have a paper towel in my lap, thank goodness, but so you dip it in there. You hold it under while you fill it. There we go, see? Ta -da. The whole thing is full. I mean, th there's a little bit of air bubble. That's okay. That's not a big deal. Setting this down over here. Trusty paper towel. You don't want to actually like touch the end of it. And if there are fountain pen experts out there who know otherwise and want to advise me, that's great. Totally. So now you've got your fountain pen end right here, right? The red ends on the other side. I'm going to just pop that right in. Okay, well, I didn't mean that word, but okay. Uh, you're going to pop it in, and then you're just going to twist this back on. Screw this back on. There we go. Now, here's the magic. I like a little bit of wet paper towel to kind of pull the ink through. Just pull it through just gently. And then, paper towel and a card. Why is it here? Oh, I guess. Proof. I'm a Missourian. Oh, you guys still, there was a glare on it. Holy moly. Proof. I'm doing this backwards too. Proof. Ha ha. Okay. So that's how that one works. Beautiful. I love this pen. As I said, I've been waiting a while to open these things up so that I could show them to you guys. Um, okay, next is a beautiful purple and blue one. This one I am not sure if it's a cartridge or if it's a refillable. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Again, that's a different kind of refillable though. Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. This one's cool. So it's got this one's really cool in that it's got like a, almost like a plunger type of thing on it. Oh, you can see it really well there. Okay. So you're going to grab this little lever right here. And as you've got the ink dipped in, as you've got this tip dipped into the ink well, right? You're going to just kind of pull this up like that. See, just like that. Whoop. Just sucks it right up. And then you will attach. I'm going to use purple ink for this one. And that's over there. And this is already 20 minutes long. So I figured I will spare you all. This one has the ball in it that I like the old fashioned fountain pens used to. They would have that because then that's how you'd know it was empty. That's when it would rattle like that. Um, it was really cool. Um, anyway, so thanks for everything for listening. Um, if you enjoyed this at all, please like, subscribe, whatever we end up, you know, whatever I end up doing with this channel. Um, I, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> I have done plenty of things. Uh, I've purchased plenty of things already in the past that I'm happy to share. Um, I can totally do, um, as far as reviews of past things I've purchased, I can do some tech. I can do clothes, jewelry, minis, office, car, home type, type things. Um, I'm also willing to, um, if you guys have any requests, if there's something you guys really want to buy or you've been wanting to buy or you've been looking at and you are interested in and just didn't want to buy and you want to see me look at it and look, try it out and show you how it goes, I'm happy to do that. Um, Timo takes about two weeks to deliver, so from time of order to deliver. Um, but I have a bunch more over there, so those videos will be coming out as I get them, as I get them recorded. Um, and... I'm really excited about sharing this with you guys. Um, I've really kind of debated whether or not to do this at all, but um, you know, I figure if we're gonna spend our money somewhere, um, at least I can help you figure out where the good purchases are and where the ones that you know maybe are a little more questionable. So, um, but yeah, thrifty fox, and I don't buy a whole lot of expensive stuff, but I will if you guys want me to. Just, I gotta, you know, once I start you know, getting some money in. And if there is a Timu Fairy out there, I would love a microphone that I can plug into my iPad. I did see one um, earlier today. Um, you probably might have noticed it in my, you know, viewing. Anyways, there we go, guys. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff that we usually do. Comment on anything you'd like to see me review. Um, uh, and coming up next will be blind boxes. Mm. Yeah, so that'll be fun. You get to see me really excited. <laughs>